Welcome everyone to a short update to this P3 video acceleration enablement. Um, I made some progress. So in the meantime I have a self-compiled kernel running which is obviously the first step for modifications and trusting this kernel anyway because who knows what was in the thread ribbon kernel thing. So this is of course quite a relief that we have a patch set that works on this other OS++ when Linux is running in the GameOS version of the hypervisor. What this allows us here on this side, I have a frame buffer running with these modifications, which is doing here some additional hypervisor call for GPU context attribute FIFO setup. So we have in this version access to the GPU FIFO, similar to what the open source code already was capable of doing with a very old firmware 2.01 and as far as I remember Sony intentionally disabled this when they found out that the open source people figured out a way to use it. So this old code was calling the hypervisor setup with um, a zero size which somehow made it map everything, something like that. Um, that was somewhere here. So the old code, and by the way I'm, I'm lucky that I had this still on the old hardest because I think I did not find this with Google anymore. I need to remember to publish it somewhere, still need to find a good place. Anyway, in retrospect I should have made more backups. The thing is, we used this as kind of workstation for a year or two or something like that. However, it was not that fast and um, eventually we moved on and when it became clear that each time people figured something out, Sony changed the firmware just a little bit. This is when eventually, especially when the news came out that they removed other OS entirely, I actually stored it in the basement not to accidentally lose it. In retrospect, I should have made more backups of all the open source bits and pieces. So then my camera battery died. I should probably invest into a second battery or maybe even a direct power connection thing. What I actually booted with is a P3 use FIFO for this case that we are running in GameOS. That is getting access to the GPU FIFO and DMA control. And what I have here is the old FIFO hack thing for regular other OS until 2.01. This one has some special I.O. controls for this old accelerated X driver that had, as far as I remember, X acceleration as well as even X video that I ideally wanted to get working again. And um, so what I've done the last 20 minutes or so is copy and pasting all the relevant pieces, which is not so easy. I tried this already yesterday, but this kernel panicked quickly. Yesterday I made the mistake in trying to port this old FIFO hexing over. This was actually even more work. I guess it was not the very best idea because this was just too incompatible. So what I've done today is I used my regular working FIFO patch for GameOS and I only cut and pasted the IOCTL portions which is hard enough because too much has changed in the last seven or so years, or nearly 10 years. So even that is not so easy, for example. I'm still not 100% sure if, for example, I got this FIFO LPAR sizing here correct, probably not. But first I want to see if this still boots, of course it also has a chance to kernel panic quickly. Next I also have to touch this um, frame buffer start thing, because after firmware 2.01 Sony changed that you need to map the whole command buffer for some reason, maybe to prevent some quirks and hacks, I don't know. But what the clever official kernel hackers that worked with Sony did is to save some nearly 2 megabyte of XDR memory, they map the frame buffer over the command buffer, which is obviously not very helpful for our accelerated video acceleration, because we want the command and FIFO buffers. So what they have done here is the frame buffer start is only 64k and they basically, as far as I see, map most of the frame buffer over this command buffer, which we need to undo. Here is the command buffer is at the start of the video memory. As we don't use the full command buffer, we can put the actual frame buffer at offset GPU frame buffer start and save some precious XDR memory. So Basically with this we can only use the first 64k, which is probably not what we want. But as all this kind of modifications already have a chance to kernel panic quickly, I will do this in a second step. So, so we built the kernel here. Let's see how this goes. So 
So this is this KXEC based Petit Boot thing that was always used, which is already running a small Linux kernel for this boot thing and using KXEC to execute another one that was always the official other OS setup. Here with this entry I actually have my user source Linux 3.5 VM Linux directly, so I always simply execute my last compiled kernel for this kind of setup. Okay, so this is actually what I was hoping for. I was not really sure if this will work. Because if I didn't make a typo, this means actually my modified frame buffer still works, which is quite impressive. I did not expect this to work today on the first try. Didn't work yesterday with my bigger modification. So we have some 9 megabyte of um, video memory and here is a modified using char device major 252 for direct GPU access. I don't think this will just work right now. If we would feel lucky we could try to launch my old X driver but I will probably first try to increase the video memory a little bit and reboot because due to the frame buffer mapped over most of the V4 command buffer, I think the chances are less than 50% that this will actually work. Um, so driver, video, PS3, and frame buffer start. Next we try to move the frame buffer start to the end of the command buffer, how it probably should be, if we want to use acceleration. And then we also there is a kconf define for the frame buffer size, which is 9 megabyte. And question is, is it because with 2 megabyte command buffer, maybe we make this 10 megabyte. And the question is, does this include frame buffer start? Because now I'm not sure if this includes the command buffer or not. Question is where is the size? And this define is don't really know where that comes from now. Okay, anyway, so this is mapped with video. So video memory size should not be smaller command buffer size. And where is this mapped? So the max size is 256 minus some GPU IO IF. So video memory size then limit get. GPU VRAM size because here is the VRAM size allocated. So the Y2 accelerated X on the P3 will still be a little bit stony. And uh, yeah, so there are still some questionable things to figure out and get right until this has even a chance to work again. So stay tuned for the next updates and um, the next videos will also be about different topics. So I will not do everyday P3 hacking now. This is just uh, the first week unpacking this thing. And the next videos will again be about other topics until I have more things patched together to work again. Hope you learned something and get inspired to help modify, improve open source kernels and drivers as well. And don't forget to subscribe for all the next videos to come.